do the intro and talk to the camera and tell them your name. What's up, fellow YouTubers? Welcome back to the Bat Cave. That would make him Robin and me that other guy. So back out here today in the shop and we are going to take this 1x8 cedar that I have and we're going to make a quick and simple porch post to replace a rotted out porch post that was also quick and simple and uh, they, want the, they want it to match. Let's get to it. Alright, really plain and simple, we're going to uh, build this uh, in an overlapping box. So there will be one, one by eight, and the other one will, will overlap it, and so on. That will give it the biggest width that it, that it can get, and that should be duplicate the exact size that was already there because there's a spot on the porch where you can see it had been, and there's a spot on the existing soffit up top where you can see so this should cover fill everything in just right so all I'm gonna do is take these scraps I have I'm going to glue and staple them on one edge of each of these boards and I have the bad edge marked because those are going to be the the uh, sides that are buried they will have each board will have uh, one exposed end so I found the best side out of either side, and then I, I want those to be out, so I marked the bad ones. That's where these are going to get glued and stapled. And I have some clamps over there if I need them. Um, so we'll get these four glued and stapled. We'll let it set up for a little bit, and then we will uh, start assembling it into a box. I have one by four, which is going to case the top and the bottom. But that's going to be once it's installed because there's a, it's a, like a board and batten soffit and I'm going to have to scribe the top. So all that's going to be done at installation. So right now just out here in the shop we are fabricating it and uh, then we'll take it out to the field. So let's get to it. Okay, these are all glued, stapled. We're going to let them set up for a little bit. Uh, I thought I had more glue. I'm pretty much out, so it gives me an opportunity to run and go grab some more glue. Might take little Stanley for a walk, and then I will get back in here, and we will turn this into a post. Okay, the glue on this is set up pretty well, and now that's going to give me more surface area to glue these and nail them. I'm going to switch from the stapler to inch and a quarter finish nails. Be a little less uh, noticeable on the outside. Alright, I think I'm only going to glue one side because I got a lot on there. I don't want tons and tons and tons of it oozing out.
I'm going to glue this one and this one, and I'm going to try to try to get everything in there without it slipping around on me too much. Oh, no! Alright, this end was fighting me on uh, squaring up, so what I did is I got a ratchet strap on it all the way around. I stuck a screw in the end here to hold my clamp, because I don't have any specialty 90 degree clamps or anything. Uh, then I hooked it and just kind of drew it together until, until we got just about where we need to be. Um, the other end is good. I think I'm dealing with some different widths on my cedar here. So we're going to let this set up and then it should be ready for installation. Alright, so that's it for building the porch post, the column. Um, it's about the most simple way you could build one and like I said it was just replacing what was there. Uh, it's just building a box and like a lot of people say Woodworking is basically building a box and figuring out different ways to do it. That's one of the easiest ways. So I got it all installed. Uh, it turned out really nice. Looks way better than what was there. I don't think I have any before pictures. Uh, if I do, you're probably looking at them right now. Um, what I did on the bottom, the original post was also cedar, but it sat there for 40 plus years and still rotted out on the bottom from taking on too much moisture. What I did was take some small deck screws with some small washers and I ran them in the bottom so it held it up off the ground by about a quarter of an inch up off the concrete. So any water that does get in will run out underneath. Uh, the trim up top is just one by four that went around and it needed to be scribed to go around the soffit because uh, the soffit was like a like the board and batten style so I had to scribe that uh, and that all got glued and nailed um, and then the bottom was easy it was just one by four all the way around that I also held up I, I used a couple small shims and I slid it underneath to just keep it just off the, the ground the customer is not quite sure how it's gonna get finished so I'll probably go back it was getting ready to start raining and the temperature was dropping. I had to get the dog to the vet, so I was a little pressed for time, but I will uh, probably go back and fill the holes and maybe even put a little bit of caulk around the top of the bottom trim. Um, but I usually just use some wood filler in case she stains it or just seals it, paints it, whatever. Uh, there's also the possibility down the road that, um, that I wrapped that in aluminum for her because the original one had a woodpecker hole in it and actually when I tore the old post out I found the woodpecker at the bottom. <laughs> Pretty easy job, just cedar column, you see them all the time. Uh, there's different ways you could do it, I could have I beveled them so they, they met at a 45, uh, I could have cut an inch and a half off the middle ones so they were all the same without having that exposed side on either side. Does that make sense? I don't even know if I just explained that well. Anyway, that was it. Shop project in an install. Uh, don't know when this one's getting uploaded. 
I really appreciate it if you stuck around this long in the video, and if you did, if you drop a comment down below and tell me, you know, like I've said before, what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, what I could improve. I like to have the input because uh, I get I've actually got some pretty good ideas from uh, some of the people that have watched and commented. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, if you think about doing that, that could help the uh, channel grow, and I'd really appreciate that too. So, that being said, uh, see you guys on the next one.